taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with their opponents. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. Leading them out, their second-year quarterback from Ohio State at 23 years of age, it's Dwayne Haskins. And for Dwayne Haskins, a little bit of an uneven season for the former first-round pick. Seven starts as a rookie. Team went 2-5 and five in those games, but I did see him get better. I thought his last couple of starts were the best ones of the year. He's a guy with big potential, big arm. But remember, it was just a one-year starter in college as well. Plenty of experience yet to be gained. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again, Haskins. And that'll be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. They had a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Now we get a look at Jalen Hurts, the surprise second-round pick back in April as he gets set to operate this Philadelphia Eagles offense. I know Eagles fans weren't exactly thrilled with the selection of Jalen Hurts in the second round, but they needed a big-time backup if they want to go deep in the playoffs, and he was 38-4 and four as a starter in college at both Alabama and Oklahoma and was the runner-up for the Heisman Trophy last year. 43 for the rushing touchdowns. He can throw it, and he can move. This will be caught at about the five. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. At the three-yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Washington. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. 
first down. Here's a run with Peterson. Adrian Peterson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker, and they found one on the outside. And the way teams are throwing the football nowadays, you can't afford to skip at the wide receiver position. I know that the slot guy is getting more attention now, but that guy on the perimeter, he makes you go. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the shotgun, Haskins slings this deep from McLaurin. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 62 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. But well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And his top speed is computed by next-gen stats, 21.6 miles per hour. Dusty Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive spins five plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. Jackson now to return. Sean Jackson on the return. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they get another shot here with a first and 10. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. Miles Sanders, the ball is touch and toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Oh, Three yards in the play. They oh, get to themselves. Weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37 yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And tough sledding. Again, maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. That's caught by Jackson. Certainly worth noting he's now one catch away from 600. He's at 599 in his career. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Washington, Washington 7. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Philadelphia. That 
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll run on first down. Peterson. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. On second down, Peterson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. They'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Oh, this is Peterson remaining down on the ground. And apparently in some pain. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Jalen Mills in on the stop. It's second and eight. From the 36, Haskins. Got him in, complete. This is Richard Rodgers. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 16. A good pick up there on 20 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. At the 15-yard line. On second and nine, Haskins. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Coverage was excellent downfield. I think he was more throwing that football away than anything else. Yeah, absolutely, because everywhere he looked, they were covered. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and be convinced that there's no place to fit in the football than to go ahead and force it and turn it into a bad play. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. And it's caught. It's Washington touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And Washington has retaken the lead. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute it, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll wind up 
up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Eagles offense have to begin their next drive. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you describe it. This time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Hits by the shot at the 40-yard line. And the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. That's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception. That's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's a good to ask for football. You can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their... Yeah, pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That's Derek Barnett coming in and making the play. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is, yes. that, is that what's going to go around the league and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Big is short of the line to gain. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. They are, however, facing fourth down. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three, and this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over, and it's a big kick, but now we just, if they move it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 15 yards on the play. First down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions. And they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Now Sanders. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Miles Sanders, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. Boy, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to say. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're not? Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Derek Barnett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll run here with Barber. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Well, he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. But first down, Hurts, and they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown-interception ratio is, what, 3-1 to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive that time of six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. On the ground, it's Barber to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the ball. There'll be a lot of chatter right now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Haskins on third down. Got an open man, finds Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes him across the 40-yard line. 12 yards. 
Jones is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Yeah, that was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, when they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. From the gun, it's Haskins. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And that will be incomplete. He was scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top. Unsuccessful. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Right off the bat, it's a first day to start the drive, 12 yards. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Throwing his hurts. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that looks like an extra step was involved. Tackle made by Thomas Davis. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second Davis hurts the throw. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards the pick up. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. The defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimum game. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Again, he'll drop the throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Ryan Kerrigan showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Adam is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Washington, 14. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. They 
They need him late in the game. His confidence should be sky high. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you to try and score when given the opportunity. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. On first down, it's Haskins. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. That one caught by Gibson. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Third down, here's Haskins. Haskins hit, and he lost the football. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. On the return, Jackson. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it, we got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great. That's where you're going. Yeah, the protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burke, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures if you're an offensive lineman that's what you're taking with you to contract time <laughs> they're gonna have a lot to take to contract time if this continues second and five after the five yard completion on first down brings up second and five he's gonna drop this down to sanders and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line the eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. So we reach halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We get things started with a good one in the NFC. Seattle traveling down south to take on Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home in U.S. Bank Stadium. And they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Devin Funches, a touchdown reception. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Check on the Patriots. And right now, they have the lead over the visiting Dolphins. Cam Newton with a couple of touchdown passes there. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Jackson now to return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. It's all good, baby. It's all good. The Eagles take over first and 10. 
at their own 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. The corner, Ronald Darby, comes up to get him. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Second and seven. The 38-yard Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. He's down in a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. And it's third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his man here. It's green. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, that's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Uh, you go back to the second round of the draft, and when Jalen Hurts' name was called, a lot of Philadelphia fans weren't extremely happy about it. But when you see his ability, he can be mobile, make plays out of the pocket. But he's got a much better arm and much more accurate than what people think. Remember, he was the best in the game. His dad was his high school coach. His kid's a true champion. He's going to get better every time out. First and ten, it's Hurts. On the slow, complete to Green. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They're really locked in on offense. Second and goal from the one. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. Conversion. Hurts will throw. Yeah, he's got it. And able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room there after. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And here again comes Dwayne Haskins and company. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. Three yards the game there, second down. Second and seven. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Darius Slay on the coverage. On third down, Haskins. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That gain on third down, good for 28. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he takes it down to 40 with a pickup of four. You want to make a play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The carry for Barber. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brings up third and one. Third and one, it's Haskins. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. It's Ben Richardson. There to make the grab. And Washington able to close the gap just a bit. Dustin Hopkins on 40. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play you would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read. If you don't have it, just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more. Reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Jackson now to return. And able to get this out to the 25. At their own 25 yard line. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And it's second down. They'll run with Sanders. He finds an opening past the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one better than 20 miles an hour. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Sanders. Now he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage. With a flag down here to boot. So they may back up further. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Room to run past midfield. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 44-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was in for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he gets it inside the 35 inches shy of the 30. Now another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down, Philadelphia. Play action. Here's Hurts. Got him in. Open. It's Hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Hurts. Zach Hurts. 31 yards. And the Eagles had six to their lead. 
He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. And that one makes this a 19-point game. That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Jake Elliott to kick Now off. after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Brings up second and seven. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. Running is Barber. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Now Haskins to throw it. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll get it down here to the 43. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down, Gibson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. He's brought down. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. And he finds McLaurin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, it's Haskins. And it's caught at the seven yard line. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. And that is cool. Touchdown. Washington. Paul Richardson. His second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have any fantasy football this week? Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll go again with Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. Keeps himself upright. Fighting. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Matt Ryanitis. In there to get him for a loss of nine yards. 
yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the second. Come on, time to play. Take over first and ten. The Washington offense heading out. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. We'll find Gibson here complete. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 43-yard line. Operating from the go, Haskins. Got a man, it's Gibson complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. From the gun, Haskins. That one is slant to McLaurin. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pick up of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Throwing again, here's Haskins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's good for a Washington. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. On first and 10, it's Haskins. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Barber. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A 5-yard touchdown run. And Washington able to make this a close game again. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The Eagles take over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now well, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. We've seen this how many times? Teams get a big lead. They go into coast mode, and all of a sudden they're scrambling and battling for a win down the stretch. They've got to put something together right here, otherwise they're in danger of doing the old snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's a game of three. And the eagle now a carry for Sanders. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. They'll run it, Sanders. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have a hit and a loose football. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the kicking team. Zero rooting interest in it, but that would hurt. Well, yeah, you're losing in the fourth quarter. And now they just gave that one up.
this week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. The clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7 yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. Third and inches. Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he is going to go get it. That would be a yard line. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. They get the sack on the blitz, but it was third and inches. Are you surprised like I am they weren't running the football there? I'm right there with you. I would have thought it worst. Quarterback sneak, try and pick up the first down and move on. But instead, I think they thought they could catch him by surprise and maybe hit something deep. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. Score Eagles 43. Well, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Looking left sideline incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. you got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's final to them. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and he brings up fourth down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. First down. It's Sanders. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. And fights through one man. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Try and run for it with Sanders. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Jake Elliott to kick off four good. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. 
So here's Haskins in the Washington offense. Down by 15. 44 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Bro, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And that is caught on the right side. Oh, 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 took a little too far at second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again. Haskins. And his throw is incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Operating from the gun. Haskins. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here. It's a throw right for a late touchdown. He has really settled in throwing the football in that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter. And the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you.